Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have quite the week ahead of us, so let us check out what is going on. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members, in particular to my latest patron, Tuatha. Thank you so much for the support, it is truly appreciated. So, starting with Wednesday, a Q&A for the Argo SRV will be posted to the comlink, hopefully answering all of our burning questions for this ship. This Thursday, Inside Star Citizen is back with part two of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo special, looking at more vehicles arriving during the event, hopefully things like the RSI Arasta, perhaps, potentially the Drake Cutter Expedition as well. Not heard anything about that one recently. On Friday, Star Citizen Live is back, However, it will not be live this time, but it will be a Q&A from a couple of weeks ago with members from the Fix It Fly It panel at CitizenCon, talking further about the resource network. So looking forward to this one a lot. Will be great to learn more about this system and hopefully hear about a potential experimental mode coming someday soon. Now also this week, we have the IAE continuing on with more ships getting revealed. And in celebration of the IAE, Cloud Imperium have provided me with a Crusader Spirit C1 LTI game package to give away. And all you have to do to enter is to comment on any video that I post while the IAE event is going on. So any video posted up until the November 30th, letting me know what ship you are most excited for at this year's event. After the 30th, I will pick a video at random and then a comment at random as the winner. Also, be sure to come and hang out with me over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother as we have a Gatak Sulen LTI game package to give away over there as well. So a big thank you to Cloud Imperium for providing these giveaways. It is much appreciated. Now, the free fly is still ongoing. So make sure that you use this opportunity to try Star Citizen completely free and help you make the decision whether playing a game heavily in development like Star Citizen is for you or not. Sometimes it is better to just sit on the sidelines and actually watch and read rather than taking part because it can be a bit frustrating. But if you don't mind the occasional lack of performance and all the bugs that we have, then it might be worth giving it a go. Now, in other news, I have been informed that today the Tech Preview channel will be opening up for the Eva Catti to test a version of the 321 build. I'm assuming a 321.1. I could be wrong. Uh, but this will have the replication layer split. Now, this is only a four hour test in which the Evocati have been asked to just play the game as normal. Nothing specific and CIG will be monitoring, testing stuff behind the scenes and performing server captures. So this is it. Finally, it is time to get the next piece of the puzzle into players' hands and see how it goes. I do hope all goes smooth and easy and we can start to see static server meshing rolling out as shortly as possible. I'm so eager to see how it goes and if there are performance improvements especially. Even more so now we have the AI updated in game as well. Let us hope nothing unforeseen rears its head as this will determine how quickly server meshing can come along. As always, I will try to keep you all up to date as soon as possible with everything that goes on with this test. And finally, a quick reminder that the Toby Eye Tracker 5 is still on sale at 20% off. So if you are interested in this great piece of kit for Star Citizen, now is a good time to pick one up. And if you use my link provided in the description below, it will directly support my channel, which I am truly grateful for. Now, from me this week, I will be working on finally getting the Persistent Universe Monthly Report video done. This is from October. Apologies for the delay. I have been super busy of late. Plus, we will be looking at the work that came to a close in the month of October, according to the Progress Tracker, while checking out the new ships on offer from the IAE. I will also be streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother on Wednesday and Friday between 2 and 5 p.m. GMT. You are all more than welcome and as I say, we will be setting up the Gatak Sulen LTI giveaway as well. But with that said, that is what to expect this week in the world of Star Citizen. Some great updates coming this week and so much going on with Star Citizen, the IAE. But for me, the most important thing is seeing how this replication layer split performs. As I say, I'll try and keep you all as informed as possible with all of the changes. But with that said, if you do appreciate my videos, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind, does the channel a big favour and tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members for all of your support. 
Cannot do this without you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.